Systemic circulation is the circulation of blood throughout the entire body. So here we have, again, the blood starting out in the heart. After it picks up oxygen in the lungs, it's going to pump that blood out to the entire body. This includes your, your hands, your legs, your arms, everywhere in your body other than your lungs. Now, as a result, because our body is using energy and carrying out cell respiration, it's going to take that oxygen away from the blood and then send back oxygen-poor blood and waste. So let's take a closer look at that. So here we have a guy doing some jump roping, trying to stay in shape, and what's happening is this. The oxygen-rich blood is being sent out through the arteries, which are symbolized in red here. And as they travel through the arteries and eventually get into the capillaries, here we have our red blood cells that we talked about in the last vodcast. Remember, the red blood cells, they carry oxygen. That is their function. So as a result, because the cells are using up oxygen, we have a high concentration of oxygen in the blood vessel and a low concentration of oxygen in the tissue cells. So with passive transport, namely diffusion, the oxygen is going to move from a high concentration in the blood to the lower concentration in the tissue cells. So the oxygen is going to move across the one cell thick capillary wall into the cells and then the cell is going to use that oxygen to make energy. Now in reverse, since the tissue cells are using so much oxygen to make so much energy, they're creating a lot of carbon dioxide waste. So the tissue cells creates a high concentration of carbon dioxide waste and being that the blood picked up oxygen, it has a low concentration of carbon dioxide waste. So the carbon dioxide is going to move from the tissue cells down into the blood. And this is how we get oxygen poor blood. And this is the type of blood that is then returned through the body to the heart, only for the heart to send it through pulmonary circulation to get rid of the carbon dioxide and add oxygen to the blood.